to my channel. Today is Good Friday. And then the day this is going up is Easter Sunday. So I thought I'd do a nice little Easter themed video. We are making... We're making mini egg brownies. I've got the ingredients and all the stuff on my mum's phone, so I know what to do. So this is what they're meant to look like by the end. Will they look like that? Probably not. A baking connoisseur. So any baking connoisseurs watching this, please don't take it seriously because I know I can't make. Okay. The first thing that I had to do was preheat the oven to 160 degrees. So I have done that. That's been on for like 10 minutes now. Um, and it also said to line a nine times nine baking tin. Well, I didn't come prepared and I didn't get a nine times nine baking tin. This one's a lot bigger. So that's the issue is maybe I'm gonna have not enough brownie to cover and they're not gonna raise enough. I know, like the literal main focus has been ruined. Oil on it and I've also buttered it up. Can you see? So that it's easy to pick the brownies up because it's nice and greasy. So, plain flour, silver spoon, caster sugar, Pesco cocoa powder, unsalted butter, two packs of mini eggs, some milk chocolate chips, two bars of dark chocolate baking chocolate. It says it's good for perf perfect for brownies, cakes, and dessert. The first thing that we need to do is crush the mini eggs using a pestle or rolling pin. Do I have one? I don't know, I can just mash it with something on. I don't need to do it with one of them. Pop your milk chocolate bars into chunks if you're not using chocolate chips. Well, I've got both, so I'll just do that anyway. And then it says break the dark chocolate into chunks and then microwave in 20 seconds until smooth. Okay, but because I've got chocolate chips, I don't need to do the first step. Um, so I just need to crush these mini eggs. I'm just gonna pop all the mini eggs into a bowl. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Brilliant. What am I gonna crush them with? We have an issue. I don't have anything to break the mini eggs with. Um, I ended up being so much harder than it needed to be. I haven't even done it. Like, I've done half of them. And I've just been using this. <laughs> Cause I didn't have anything else to do it with. Some of them are just gonna have to go in whole. I'm sorry. Anyways, break the dark chocolate into chunks and microwave in 20 second bursts. Microwave in 20 second bursts until it's smooth. So just keep, just keep microwaving it basically until it's smooth. up all the dark chocolate and I'm gonna put it in it doesn't say how much dark 200 grams it does say I'm not sure so stupid how many is in this 115 I put an extra gram in but I'm just gonna do it anyway and then just not use a little bit of it does that make sense Okay, I've come to the conclusion that the 20 seconds is taking too long. This is what we've got on the spoon. So, I've put it in for 40, so I'm just gonna double it up so it goes a little bit quicker. Okay, we have the perfect bowl of chocolate. That looks stunning. Back to all the stuff. That took so much longer than it should. Next thing that we need to do, we've melted into, oh my God. I just read the wrong thing. I thought it told me to melt the butter. <sighs> okay, <sighs> ignore me. The butter now, as well as the chocolate, into a microwave, 20 seconds, and then add the melted butter to a large bowl, along with the caster sugar and whisk. The melted butter and sugar together for one minute. So, we need to weigh out the sugar and weigh out the butter. Then I'll melt this and put it in with this. Okay, so we've got our lovely melted Butter, oh, nearly. 200 grams of sugar. This looks disgusting. Am I doing this right? 
I don't think so. I really don't think I am. Melt the butter in the microwave for 20 seconds until smooth. Add it to the melted butter. Add and then add the melted butter to a large bowl along with the caster sugar. Yeah, that's right. Melted butter and sugar together for one minute, which I have done. And then add the egg one by one and whisk thoroughly. You should have a pale, smooth mixture. Right, so we've got three eggs here, 12 large eggs. So I'm going to add them in one by one. This is the um, mixture that we've got. It's this color. This is not pale illusion that I think I've put too much sugar in, which is a bit of an issue because we don't want it to be too sweet. I measured it right. I just measured it on, on a scale, but I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna have to carry on, even if they're not very nice. We'll just carry on. Really fold in the melted dark chocolate and then sieve in the sieve in sieve sieve in the flour and cocoa powder. Fold the mixture gently until no flour pockets remain. Finally, fold in the milk chocolate chips, chopped milk chocolate bar, and the crushed mini eggs. Set a few mini eggs aside to decorate the top of the brownies. Oh, thank God I did that because I couldn't crush them all. Okay, so it's basically just adding everything together. So I'm gonna pour this into here. And then I'll do a little time lapse of me mixing everything together. done because every fair's a mess and look at my joggers it went all over my joggers you can't even see it but it did it's looking a lot better this is the mixture she looks gorgeous and i tried it and she tastes really good let me check the next step so i've sieved the flour and the cocoa powder and put everything in um so i now need to fold in the milk chocolate chips and the crushed mini eggs but they, they said didn't they to so keep some aside we're gonna just pour in. I might just pour them all in. Or what's left of them? Mmm. That tastes so nice. We just put like half in, like all of the broken ones in, and then leave some of the whole ones for the top. Okay, so this is what the mixture is looking like. You can't see, but there are. East, not Easter eggs, um, mini eggs and chocolate chips in there. The mixture into the tin and then scatter on the remaining crushed mini eggs gently and press them into the mix. Cook the brownies for 22 to 25 minutes until the middle has very slightly wobbled. You just don't over bake it or lose fudginess because it'll become a cake. That's what it says. Once baked, leave your brownies to cool on the tin completely. Cut it into, the, into portions and then enjoy. <laughs> So this is where we are up to with the brownies. So I'm going to put them in the oven that's preheated um, and then I'll get back to you with what they look like. I'm really excited. I hope it looks good because it does look so tasty. Right, it's about like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes later. I've just checked on the brownies. They look unreal hoping that they taste good and look good when i actually bring them out i just put like the end of the spoon in and it's pretty much come out clean like you can't really see but there is a few little bits so i'm just gonna leave it in for like an extra like minute or so um i'll bring it out i'll show you what it looks like we'll let it cool and then it's taste this time like further into the middle 
definitely not done yet. The, the front, it all looks so like crispy and gorgeous. So, shall I taste this bit? Mmm. It tastes so good. So, I've got them all. You're not ready for how good they look. Oh, it looks gorgeous. You might not be able to see, but it's got that like glaze that brownies have. I can't believe I've actually done it. Oh. Right, we're gonna leave it to cool. And then when it's cool, I'll put them in the little pot and we'll taste test. Please ignore the fact that I'm in a completely different outfit. I've just been taking photos for Instagram. This is what the brownies are looking like. I've just cut them up um, and I've left them for about half an hour, I'd say. But that means it's taste test time. I'm gonna lie, they could have maybe been left a little bit longer but I've got a little bit off with a little mini egg on top and I'm going to try this one. Mm. Mm. They are nice. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit raw. Yeah, they're a little bit raw. Um, would have definitely been in, left in for a bit longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave them in the foil and just let them set for a little bit longer just because like it is kind of raw the mini egg it's gorgeous <laughs> Thank you.